Go to the loop. Showed you this before. Go to the loop. Just tighten up your rope. All right, and put your loop in it. Now remember, you can put a stick in there and that will keep it from popping off. Now I can put a little of this, the smallest twig in there as long as it keeps it from popping out. Now, I moved that out of the way. Now I'm going to go back and forth from my T-frame with the rope I have left. All right, now my T-frame set up. Now I'm gonna get my tarp up. My tarp goes in a certain way. What do, which way I want to set my hammock facing which way? Do I want to face it away from the lake or towards the lake? But the situation, look down there, look what I got to work with. So I'm gonna be walking around through those two trees over here to get to the rest of the area. I got many options what to do here. So let's let's finish it up. When I got here, it was breezy. Whoosh. Wind's blowing. So I'm gonna put my tarp. Well, I'm facing towards the lake because that's why I came out here for the scenery. Even the scenery is not that great in this location. So I'm gonna throw my tarp string string bobs I lost one of my shoe strings off on it it's around here so worth all right let's get going So I had bad experience with the T-frame. Why is that? During the rainy season, I had so much water into my hammock because all those ropes wasn't protected good enough. So I brought extra tarps to protect my ass from the rain for a period of time. So I got extra tarps with me when I go car camping. When I don't go car camping, I might just use the T-frame. But right now I'm car camping, I bring the T-frame with me. So. Uh, Let's get going. All right, I need my stakes. It's over the hill. All right, here's my stakes. I'm going to put them up, and I'll be back with you. Oh, before I put my hammock on my, ha uh, my uh, tarp up, I should put my hammock up first. Because sometimes... You don't realize you put your stuff in the wrong spot and too, it's too late. You know what I'm missing? It's my straps. <laughs> it's here somewhere. Yeah. Alright. Now 
Now, I like about this hammock because you don't, don't matter which way you put it because it's always going to be right because the zipper is always on both sides. So let's put that up first. So I want my hammock to be more on this side than that side. So I guess I got to loop it on this side the farthest I can loop it. And put it on the last nut. And I can always move it to the knot I need after I figure out where it goes or where it needs to be. All right, now I take my other loopity loopity doop. All right, now I see where I need to be. So I'm gonna hook this one side first, the farther so I want. Now I have to tighten it up on this side. And I'm gonna put some more longer ropes on this side or uh, on the hammock itself. I don't know if that's far enough. We sure far enough. What's the uh, tire or, uh, or, uh, or uh, thing go up real quick? All right, let's get the other side. Now here's the fun part, getting in. Where's the zipper? All right, getting in. It's gonna be the fun part. All right, test approved. I tested and I approved it. Might have to go up a little bit over here. Now remember, when you're sleeping in your hammock, make sure your head is more elevated because in the morning, you will have a headache from hell. Okay, let's close this up. Now, I could put my bed lining in it now while everything's open. Let's do that. All right, I got a stuff stack. Because if you stuff your bags and you stuff it with the stuff sack, you could put tons more stuff in it. I got a fleece blanket. That's gonna keep me warm at night. And this is my summer bag. This is a, a cover that goes over the net that will keep the warmth in my hammock if I get cold. And I'll go ahead and place this on there now. And if you do press this on your, on top of your hammock, make sure you put a uh, uh, windows lines over your head. So I don't have a line right now. So um, I think it's gonna be cold for me tonight. So I'm gonna put a uh, a line under over my hammock so I can put my blankets over. This will cut off the stress off my net, uh, bug net. And my line's too short.
All right, I got another ridge line over my hammock for the stress that's going to pull on my net. So I put another line through it so it won't have so much stress. So let's put our, this is like a blanket over your hammock. Like an overquilt. There you go. That's my overquilt during the summer because I do get cold at night. So let's get going. All right, now we got our hammock up. We got our overquilt on. I have other quilts to go underneath the hammock if I get cold underneath, which usually that's where I get the most coldest. But if I get hot, I just open my zipper, pull that back, and I'm, go I'm done. I mean, I'm comfortable. All right, now set up your tarp. After you get your ridge lines through and you get your hammock up, now you want to get your tarp going. Now, these suckers are made to go right like that. What I usually do, I'll get to my two stakes end to end. I stretch as far as I can and put my stake in the ground. I got two brand new carabiners for the middle. There you go. Now, let's go to the front and tie off everything. See you there. 